Hi, I'm Brian Millett with Game On Training. Now thanks to Game On Training in Dublin, you can train at a first-rate facility. With over 16,000 square feet of training space, Game On features the right equipment and a knowledgeable staff giving serious athletes and recreational players everything they need to take their game to the next level. Game On offers individual and team packages. Monthly memberships are available and one-on-one -on -one lessons for ages 7 and up. Game On members have access to train 24-7, so don't miss out. Call or come by for the latest information and schedules, and remember... Game On also offers CrossFit DGA with owner Eric Bland. Get the best workout you've ever had with Eric and his staff. Join Game On's training today for excellent core strength and conditioning. And get your game on. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you back out to West Lawrence High School here in the dugout with Coach Brian Brown. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you. man. You yes, worked hard this season, had not you? We have. The uh, yeah. guys really worked hard in practice and uh, just really bought into what we wanted to do, and uh, we executed. We executed on the mound, defensively, offensively. We've done a lot of things to, to uh, really, you know, do this season right, and uh, yeah. the guys have paid off. Yeah, you've worked hard, the kids have worked hard, the young men have, have really worked hard, they've come together, we've talked about it week after week. Coach, let's go back to that Mary Persons game. Mary Persons game, uh, we knew going into that week, we had Mary Persons and Upson Lee. Uh, we knew the region championship was in our hands. If uh, we won both of those games, we were gonna be region champs. And uh, so we come out here that, that Tuesday against Mary Persons, and uh, guys rose to the challenge. Uh, we had a lot of distractions, you know, with senior night going on and yeah. and then these guys, you know, wanted to celebrate my 40th birthday. So we had all these distractions going on and uh, but when it come game time, these guys, they turned it on. Uh, we had an outstanding pitching performance from Nolan Daniel. He threw a complete game. I think he gave up one hit yeah. in that game. Um, we ended up winning 11 to one. Um, Bill Leroy, he was a player of the game. Had uh, two doubles and four RBIs, and uh, it was a uh, it was a it was a blessing. It was a blessing for us. And then uh, Wednesday we didn't even play, yeah. but uh, there was region games going on in the region, mm -hmm. and uh, we knew if veterans lost uh, to Upson Lee, and that would uh, give us the region championship. Yeah. And, uh, sure enough, they did. Upson Lee beat them yeah. four to three. So yeah. uh, it was pretty exciting to win tonight. That's incredible. And uh, you checked all the records, Coach. Yes, sir. You know, this is the first time. First time in school history since 19 region champ. school started in 1972. Uh, we've been close. We've been very close several sure. times sure. Uh, throughout the years, especially since I've been here. A lot um, of talent been through this school. It man. sure has. And uh, yeah, I, I give credit to all the guys that's come through here and played Raider baseball. I mean, mm -hmm. they've really uh, laid a firm foundation for these guys to follow, and they just picked it up and took it to another level. Yeah. So, uh my hat's off to all those guys. Yeah. It's good to build on the foundation, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Sure is. Yeah. So, uh, ups and game, tell me about it. Ups and Lee came in here that Thursday. Um, and uh, they're, they're a quality ball club. And they they just beat veterans the night before. Um, so, we went into that game and uh, we let some guys, um, we split up the game for, for pitching wise to get some guys some innings in. Mm. And, uh, and we had three guys throw and uh, they had a combined two hitter. Shut out, beat them, three, beat them three to nothing. That's awesome. So um, it was it was nice for us to come out here and play. Good way to finish regular season. Yes, sir. On top, and then a good win in that, that final regular season game. Absolutely. Of course, we won't talk about the future, but we will take a short break. And you got some players lined up, some I seniors sure do. here. The heart, the heart and soul of our team. Yeah. Coming up. Yeah. What do you say about this senior team before we bring them on? That's a special group now. I mean, they're they're not only good young men, but they're I mean their leadership with this team has been. Unbelievable. I mean, they're they're a tight group. Um, I mean, it's almost like a brotherhood. I mean, they do everything together, and uh, yeah. they feed off each other. Mm -hmm. And they've all got fantastic qualities that they bring to the table, and uh, they've learned what those are, and they've uh, learned to improve their skills. and And uh, it's just it's just fun to watch. 
Yeah. So. All right, we'll take a break, ladies and gentlemen, and be back with the senior class here at West Lawrence for Raider Baseball. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Spring is here, and Roach Farm and Garden has everything you need to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather. Roach has the knowledge and experience it takes to make all your lawn and garden projects a success. So let's get started today. See Roach Farm and Garden, and we'll help you with everything you need this spring. Roach Farm and Garden with locations in Dublin and Wrightsville. All right, well, welcome you back, ladies and gentlemen, here with uh, Jared O'Neill, first senior we're going to be speaking to today, and we're glad to be able to speak to the senior class. Again, as Coach said, they've come to be leaders. They've played ball all their life, and, and Jared uh, has played all his life. He's been an outstanding athlete all the way around, but baseball, a really heart and soul entity. He's Ever since I saw you play the first time, man, he's just been a good athlete. You, you get it. after it. You you put everything you have into it. Why don't you start out by just sharing with us who your family is, who your parents are. My parents, Jeffrey and Sheila O'Neill. They're proud of you. Yes, sir. Man, I can tell. I know Sheila's just beaming. And uh, so here you are. You you know, you got a few more games. We're hoping for uh, several more games. But you're coming up on the, uh, you know, kind of toward the end of your baseball. How does it feel to get the first region championship for the school, man? Oh, it feels great. It just feels like we've actually put a name for West Lawrence. Yeah, yeah you have. Yeah, you have. It should feel that way. Tell us what all you've been involved with in school other than baseball. Uh, I played football my freshman year, and I gave it up. Probably shouldn't have. And just football and baseball is really all I've done. Yeah. Been in a lot of clubs. Oh, yeah. What clubs you in, man? FCA. And yeah, that's all the clubs. Yeah. You go to church, don't you? Yes, sir. Where you go to church? Liberty Baptist. Good, good, man. Yes, I pray you have a good foundation, man, because you're going on to school. You're going on off to college, right? Yes, sir. What are your plans? Uh, we're going to Middle Georgia. I'm going to be doing civil engineering. Good. So hopefully that will work out for me. Yeah, I trust it will, man. You you make good choices, uh, mostly good choices throughout your life, and you'll continue to. You'll continue yes, to be real. All right, let's talk about some memories uh, on Diamond because you played a lot of baseball. Uh, let's go way back, see if you can remember who one of your first coaches were that you ever remember coaching you. really made an impact on you as a, a young person. First, uh, I had to say Destry Henry. That's where it all started. Coming on through now, you got into high school, and Coach Brown's really worked you. So what's some things you tell us about Coach Brown? If somebody said, well, what kind of man is he? Uh, Coach Brown's a good man. He's, he's a good role model for the whole team. And he just knows the game real good. And yeah. yeah, he believes in you, doesn't he? Yes, sir. Yeah, we should do your very best. Well, Jared O'Neill, we appreciate you speaking with us, and best of luck the rest of the season and throughout your college career and your life, yes, son. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. And next, Eric Scott. Eric Scott coming in with us. Eric, tell us about your family. Um, my mom is Jennifer, and my dad's Stephen Cox. Yeah. We're proud of you. Yes, sir. Yeah, they're beaming. And, and so uh, we're thinking about our high school career, things you've been involved with. Let's talk about some of them. Uh, I played football and baseball all four years. Yeah. Um, I'm in the FCA. I've been part of the FCA chess club, Coach Pollock club. That's a club that we made up. Mm -hmm. Just a couple of baseball players. Okay. That's about all I've done. Yeah, so. okay. So chess club, huh? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, man. <laughs> all right. And so uh, looking back over it, you got some memories of high school, mm -hmm. on the field, off the field. You know, just share a few of them with us. Um, well, We've made a bunch of memories, just just the baseball players we have. Uh, the other day, it was the first time I ever stole on Bill. And, it was, it was pretty great. That was an accomplishment. Yeah, it was a big you accomplishment. You caught him snoozing. That's almost impossible, isn't yeah. it? But it was practice. Yes, sir. <laughs> didn't okay. come much. Yeah, that's right. All right, so we're looking on to the next step in your life, man. you got a yes, golden sir. opportunity to go on and play football. Share with everybody. Yeah, I'm going to play uh, at the University of Cumberland's in Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, I'll be leaving the end of June, July, mm -hmm. around there. Yeah. And I'll probably study pre-med whenever I get up there. Good. Good. Yeah, study hard, man. It'll take it. There's a lot of hard work in it. A lot of hard work. Of course, you've always worked hard. Yes, sir. So let's give a little credit. Now, you got a great baseball coach. You had a great football coach. Let's talk about some of the things they've taught you, Eric. Um, well, our, my coaches, they really, they're coaches and they teach a lot about the field, like what we're supposed to do on the field, but they do off the field too. They, they're they like really good life mentors. They help you through situations, not just only on the, on the baseball field or football yeah. field. They, Really like their family. 
Yeah, they care about you. Yes, sir. They want you to make the right choices throughout life. So what would you tell young people? What do you tell that young man who's coming into high school, coming out of middle school? It's a big change. You remember. That mm -hmm. was a big change to come to high school. And you got your high school career ahead of you for sports, for grades. What do you tell them? Um, keep, keep your head focused and don't quit. Just keep moving forward no matter what, what you go through. Yeah, good advice. We're proud of you, Eric. Thank you. Keep working hard, man. All right, Eric Scott. Jonathan Kelly, our next senior. Jonathan? Yes, sir. How does it feel to be a senior? It feels pretty good. It feels great. Yeah. Just good. glad I get it over with. Get out of here. <laughs> pretty much. Well, it's almost that time. Yes, sir. Yeah, and after 12 years, I guess it's time to move on to the oh, next yeah. step, isn't it? All right, so tell us about your family, Jonathan. My parents are Jancy and John Kelly. My dad lives in South Carolina now, but my mom lives here with me. Yeah. What they tell you? Now that you're coming up at the end of your high school career. Mm, just keep striving for it. Just keep going for it. Graduation. You'll get there. Yeah, you'll get there. Okay. Let's talk about some of the clubs, some of the events, and things you've been involved with throughout high school. Mm, I'm in FFA, FCA, and Coach Pollock Club. That's about it. Yeah. All right. So tell me some of the favorite memories you have, maybe on the diamond. Mm. Probably a region championship, that's probably the most important, mm -hmm. most fun. Yeah, yeah. First time in history. You know? That's right, that's right. Yeah, people will be talking about it a long time. It's good to yes, be a sir. part of that senior class. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what have you learned on the baseball field? What kind of life lessons would you say you've learned? Mm, I just learned to leave everything on the field and like it's your last time playing. Yeah. Can't take it for granted, you know. Right, right. I remember watching some tape on senior night. We had somebody out filming that, and I believe they said something to the effect that don't don't take uh, don't take it for granted your position. Don't yes, don't take that for granted. Uh, that's a mouthful, there, man. That's true oh, yeah. in everything. Isn't it can be going in the heartbeat. Yeah, yeah, really good. So, uh, give us a little story about coach, or tell us something about Coach Brown. Mm, yeah, Derek, he's a great guy. He's yeah. been with me for a while now. <laughs> We've always just like going over to his house and he'd feed us and stuff. Yeah. He'd great, have a great time with him. Right. He's just done everything he could for us. Yeah, he really has had, man. Yes, sir. Well, we hope that success continues on the diamond here for West Lawrence, and we know it will, but the rest of the season will go well, and, and we trust that uh, when you go off to school, you'll do your very best. Now, tell us what your plans are. I plan on going to Middle Georgia for a couple of years and transferring somewhere. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Going to like airplane mechanics, I think. Yeah. That's what I'm probably going to do. Cool. That's a good field. Real good. Oh, yeah. uh, looking out through the school, other than Coach Brown, I, I know he meant a lot to you, but just thinking about uh, teachers or administrators, somebody along the way that really meant a lot to you. You, you think of anybody that really encouraged you a lot? Miss mm, Horn, probably. She's probably like one of the best teachers around. Yeah. I don't know. I just really like her. She's chill in class and yeah. let's just get our work done. Right. Yeah. Just laid back and yes. knows how to yes, do sir. the job. That's good. Jonathan, thank you. Appreciate Best it. Best of luck to you. Jonathan Kelly, another senior out here at West Lawrence. And now a lot of you are going to recognize this young man, uh, Bill Leroy. Bill, tell yes, everybody sir. about your family. Uh, my family, uh, my dad is uh, Bobby Leroy, and my mom is Tanya Leroy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, most people that grew up around here, Bill, probably know that your family is a baseball family. They, mm -hmm. they love ball. They, they have. They've been in ball ever since they were born. Yeah. And raised around the ball field. Mm -hmm. So who's the best athlete in the family? Of course, me. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't even want to talk about a runner-up. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah. I'm just kidding. My, my sister, she's a good yeah. ball player. My stories I hear from my dad, he's just yeah. a really awesome ball player. So sure. Some yeah. good genes. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you put them to use, you worked hard because all the talent in the world, mm -hmm. as they say, is, is worth nothing if you don't put some work there. That's right. And so... Uh, starting out, I'm going to ask you that question again because you played a lot of baseball. You mm -hmm. had several coaches through mm -hmm. the years, and probably with the exception of your dad. Now, you can't mm -hmm. say your dad okay. on that, but what about a coach that, that mm -hmm. um, Oh, when I first started, I, I did play with like Jared and all them, some with uh, mm -hmm. Destry Henry, but yeah. I think my first coach was probably uh, Coach Matt, Jeremy Matthews, the yeah. assistant coach here. Sure. He uh, had a travel ball team that some mm -hmm. guys around here started on. That was really my first coach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good. So what did you learn from the start? What were some of the basics that you learned about the philosophy maybe of the game, how to play the game, not necessarily just how to field and how to hit? Yeah, I just learned, uh, like, you know, you're going to have tough times. Maybe you're not having the greatest game, but still got to push through it in the same way in life. You know, yeah. you can't always have a great day. Yeah. You can have a bad day, still got to push through it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Just kind of learn some of the basics. Yeah. Uh, all right, throughout school, what was your favorite subject in school? Mm, definitely math. math. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're going on to college, mm -hmm. going to University of North Georgia, mm -hmm. going to play baseball. Mm -hmm. Play you're little gonna, ball. You're going to catch for them. That's what it looks like. When did you realize that that was your spot? Uh, really this, uh, come up right before school started, I went to a camp there. And uh, I, did, I had a good camp. And uh, the coach talked to me, asked me to come back, you know. Mm -hmm. tore, tore the place and uh, it just felt like it was the right atmosphere for me you know mm -hmm. it was I, I, like, I like the coaches I like the players so it was just an all-around good place and it felt like it was a spot for me awesome mm -hmm. glad you feel that way and you know we wish you the best of luck now what has your dad told y'all through the years about baseball oh well, there's, there's a lot <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, mainly just to uh just stay focused and not let anything distract you you know yeah. and uh just to play hard because you never know what stage when you're last. So yeah, I always play hard. Mm -hmm. They're proud of you. What is he telling you now that you're going on to college? Uh, stay out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's a good one. Just to, I guess just keep my mind straight and focus on the you know what I need to do. Yeah. And if uh, you know, kind of like the same way Eason did, he wants me to kind of follow in his footsteps. You mm -hmm. know, he had a good four years there, and he's expecting me to have the same you know good four Success. years. Yeah. Yeah. Come out there with a degree. All right. So your mom, other than that, she's gonna miss you. What mm -hmm. does she tell you? She's just, uh, uh, she, does, she is going to miss me, yeah. but uh, she just tells me to uh, just work hard in school and get the grades because, you know, you know if, you don't, if you don't make a grades in school, then you can't play baseball. So, mm -hmm. What you going to study? What do you think you are? Um, I'm planning on being a math teacher and being a coach probably, you know, yeah. raise around the ball field, stay around right. the ball field. Right, so. right. So you're going to come back through and teach and coach, be able to work like with it. young people. Yep. Good. Best of luck with that. Yes, sir. I appreciate Much it. Much success. Thank you. All right, thank you. Best of yes, luck. Sir. All right, and now we're down to our last senior on the team for this year. Jacob, welcome to you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, so first of all, tell us about your family. Uh, my mom's Felicia Clark and my daddy's Jeffrey Clark. Yeah. Um, I got to ask you right off the bat, Jacob. Is your daddy laid back around the house? <laughs> he's always talking to somebody. <laughs> he, uh, yeah. He's not. I mean, he works around the house a lot, so he tries to keep everything tip-top yeah. shape. I'm sure he does. <laughs> yes, he keeps sir. you in tip-top shape, too, if he can, right? Mm, he tries. Yeah, he, he tries. works on it. So let's talk a little bit about things you did in high school as far as clubs and, and math. We don't know about all the pranks. We just want to know about, uh, about the stuff you're involved in, um, extracurricular. I played uh, football all four years, baseball all four years. Um, I went to state with him uh, my sophomore year. Uh, in Coach Pollock Club yeah. every Tuesday. Yeah. And uh, I did uh, FFA for all four years. Good, good. I went to Anchor Club all four years. Mm -hmm. You go to church, don't you? Yes, sir. I got a Dudley Baptist with Jared and Bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good to be in church, man. Try to do that when you're in college. <laughs> yes, That'll sir. help you out a lot. It, it really will. You know it will. And yes, Coach sir. Brown's tried to impart in y'all that it, this is about life. It's not just about a game. Or, you're not just floating through life aimlessly, you know, you, you yes, got sir. a plan. Yes, sir. So where are you going to college? Um, right now I'm planning on going to Middle Georgia um, to study sports medicine. Good. Or either that or a special ed teacher. Mm -hmm. Good. Awesome, man. That sounds real good. What, what is your favorite subject? Um, <laughs> probably weightlifting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say lunch for a second. There. No, not lunch. <laughs> lunch is, lunch is yeah, a close lunch second. Yeah, lunch is important, isn't it? Lunch is a close yeah. second. Yeah, you got to keep your strength up. That's yes, sir. Sure. All right, so looking back now, you played football four years. That's a tough sport. Baseball is real tough at times. What have you learned through that? Um, I mean, you just got to work. I mean, you can't take it off because you never know when it's going to be your last game, when it's going to be your last practice. Yeah. You could leave here and not be guaranteed tomorrow. Yeah. You got to play hard. Yeah, and you've always played team sports, man. You you know, you not yes, an individual sir. sport, team yes, sports. So that's, that's helped you grow a lot, hasn't it, Jay? Yes, sir. And so what kind of advice can you give that young man that's coming out of middle school, maybe a young lady that's coming out of middle school, they're coming into high school, and they really want to fit in, they want to do good, but, you know, they want to play? Uh, they got, I mean, stick to your grades and don't change who you are to be in other groups, be yourself, and yeah. friends will come. Yeah, yeah. Be who sure. you want to be. Yeah. And if, they, if people don't like it, then You've done that, next one. Son. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> We're proud of you, Jacob. Thank we really you. are. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Hello. Yes, sir. All right. As our seniors, we'll be back with the coach in just a moment. Stay tuned.
Come celebrate National Barbecue Month with all you can eat St. Louis ribs at Sonny's Barbecue. An endless helping of sweet and smoky or dry rub ribs for just $14.99 for a limited time. Sonny's Barbecue, local pit masters since 68. All right, we welcome you back, back with the coach, a great group of young men. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they're a special group. They always be a, have been an influence on my life, too, as yeah. well. Uh, yeah. I know they talk about, you know, what the what coaches have done, have done for their life and what uh, some other teachers and talk about their parents. But I'll tell you what, it works both ways. They've been a blessing to us, too. Yeah. It's amazing what you can learn from young It people. is. It is. Yeah, it really is. Okay, now, Coach, what we're looking for next, what can we tell the fans about the next game? Friday, uh, tomorrow, we play uh, Liberty County right here, first round of the state playoffs. Uh, we start at 4 o'clock. It will be a doubleheader. So we'll play at 4, and then uh, second game will be 30 minutes after that one. And uh, if we go to a game 3, it will be at 1 o'clock on Saturday. But okay. uh, our guys have had a great week of preparation, and uh, hope we get after it. Yeah, yeah we got to get after got to hit the ball. That's right. they got a decent pitcher, right? That's right. they got a, uh, a left-handed pitcher. He's, uh, he's pretty good. He's, he's pitched 58 innings this year, and he's struck out 101 batters and walked 18. So uh, we've stressed our guys this week. Uh, he's going to be around the plate. We've got to put the ball in play and uh, yeah. and uh, just make them make plays. Got to get around the base. That's right. Don't we? Yeah. And everybody's healthy again. That's right. Everybody's got straight everybody up healthy. on that. Mm -hmm. yep. So we should be good in the field. We should be good on base. Yes, sir. We, uh, Golden opportunity. What got us the region championship was execution. So if we continue to, to go that path, you know, we're going to ride this season as long as it goes. And I hope we, we play for another month. Yeah. So. All right, Raider fans, we want to see you out here Friday evening. That's right. Got a double header, and hopefully that'll do it. That's right. I hope so. Yeah, we can move on to the next one. Thank you, Coach. We thank always you. appreciate you. Appreciate, appreciate what you, you do for these young men. We thank you all, too, at TV 35. Thank you.